This is Mr. Slade, the director of Eclipse. And uh, I'm going to hit him. Oh! We have a new director, David Slade. David. We always wanted different directors for each movie to kind of shake up the styles. That was very good. I think it's awesome that us actors have the opportunity to work with different directors and be able to mold to their different styles. When you feel right, you lunch out. David Slade's movies look beautiful. His films, Hard Candy and 30 Days of Night, kind of devastating and terrific to watch. He's directed some of my favorite band's music videos. Muse, I did four of their videos of their second album. 10 years later, they're a huge arena rock band and I'm directing a Twilight movie. I went through various different phases of my life. I began as a journalist and ended up doing a fine art degree where I ended up shooting film. And it took many years of learning and figuring out how to see a clear picture and get it onto the screen. David has a wonderful, uh, I'd say, mechanical view of film. Reading a script is, 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 a, is a process for me whereby I'm screening the film for myself. I'm, I'm imagining the film and I'm imagining it not just the way it looks and plays, as you would a book, but how do you get that thing out of your head and onto a screen? I see film as a kind of pie made of all these little slices. You could have the camera department and everything within the camera department in this slice and the lighting department here and the script here. And I think to be an effective director, you have to understand everything you possibly can about the limits of each slice. If you're working with a very specific kind of lens camera setup whereby you want there to be a very, very short depth of focus, it, it's important to understand that that's very hard to do. Working with a production designer, knowing that a compound curve, a curve that has a rotation in it is more difficult to make than a straight angle, that's gonna affect the schedule. Having an answer to an actor, knowing what the character arc is and where you are in it, storyboarding every shot so that you know not only that you can get that shot and it's the shot you want, but what you're gonna need to have on the day. So I, I, I see it as a necessity to understand the technical side of cinema to create cinema. Here we go. Roll sound. Ten echo, take one. Hey, Mark. And action. Oh, Mark. No, it's not in the Okay, Thanks. just in time. You ready? Check. All right, what do you got? Man? All right. <clears throat> My fellow students. Tell right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. We are the future. Anything is possible if we just believe. Good, come. On that. Hey, come. Good. It's amazing how much David thinks about at one time. This scene we're shooting today has so many cast members and he's thinking about everybody, everybody's character and what everybody at this table is thinking. Blah, 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 God bless America. Yeah, no, this will be my speech when I want all my friends to throw their diplomas at my head. Thank you. <laughs> Let's say you had no lines and you were just like, what's, what am I thinking right now? Something really just insane and off the wall, he'll work it with you. Like, he's really just there. David is very, very specific in terms of what he wants, which is great when you're working with somebody who has really good instincts. I, I, I trust him, and that's really all you can ask for from a director, somebody who you just trust that, that he's not gonna make you look like an idiot. Jess, you gotta embrace the cliches. They are the bread and butter of all valedictorians. Although Mike is sort of supposed to look like an idiot. He's so nice and fun and just chipper and let's go again, and this is great. And I think he's really fun to work with. I'm looking forward to the rest of the shoot. Well, sorry about that. 